Hello there and welcome. In this video I'm going to show you how to create and publish a Java library to Maven Local. So we're going to create a project, we're going to select this empty activity and we're going to give it a name and we're going to select Java as the language. So we start with this default app module but we also want to create another module that will be our library. So we go to File, New, New Module, and we're going to select Java or Kotlin Library, and we're going to select Java, and we're going to give it a name. Okay, finish. So now we can see our library module over here. Next we want to put some kind of code inside, just to know that it actually works when we publish it. So I'm going to place a few things over here. So I've created these three classes, nothing too fancy, just a user builder, a user and a manager, and you don't really need to care about the code, it's just to see that it works, but basically we have access to this user builder, and then we can create a new user, or we can create a random user, then we have our data class, and we have the manager that does some things that are working behind the scenes. Now we want to test the code to see if it's working, even before we publish the library, okay? So we can do it from our app module. Now, inside the app module, we still don't have access to this library because it exists in a different module. So if we try to get this user builder class, we can see that it doesn't exist, okay? So we can actually make this library a dependency of the app module and then test this library by two different ways. One of the ways is going to file, project structure, dependencies, then we click on app and we add a module dependency and we select our my Java library. So now we can see that it already recognizes this class and we can import it and use it. Okay. Now the second way is if we go to the Gradle scripts and we go inside our build Gradle app, then we can see this line of code that was created when we added the dependency. So the second way to add a dependency of a different module is simply write this line of code. Okay. So if you're going to add another library, then you can simply copy this and paste the name over here. Now if we go back to the main activity, we can use this user builder to create a new user and we can see that all of these things are working and recognize. So the next step will be to actually publish our library because Right now we can only use it from within the same project, but we want to be able to use it from different projects. And for that, we need to publish it to Maven local. So we basically publish it to a local repository on our computer, and then we can use it from any project that we create on this computer. Of course, we can also publish it to a remote repository, but it's something we're not going to deal with in this video. So in order to publish our library, we're going to enter into the build gradle of the library. Inside, we're going to add one more plugin that will help us publish the library. Maven publish. With this plugin, we're going to be able to run all the publishing tasks and we're going to be able to do all kinds of different configurations. So now we can paste the code for the publishing and we're going to sync. So now we can understand what this code is doing. Inside this after evaluate, we're simply going to create a publication for our Java library, okay? So we have some information about the library. This is the information we're going to need to provide when we are trying to consume the library, okay? Then we also have both of these artifacts that are going to be created. So we're going to create two more jars. 
with the jar of the library. And these jars will contain the sources and the Java docs. So we can see that inside our library, we also have Java docs. So now when we're going to produce this Java doc jar, then the consuming project will be able to see all the different Java docs and he's going to be able to see the sources. So if you don't care about Java docs, you can simply remove this part. You can also remove all of these tasks. But if you're using Java docs inside your library, you probably want to include these two artifacts. So because we included both of these artifacts, we're going to create these tasks. So it's going to create a jar for the Java docs and it's going to create a jar for the sources. Okay, so this is the way we do it. Now, because we have this Maven Publish plugin, we also have a bunch of different tasks. And one of them is the task to publish to Maven local. So if we click on Gradle over here, we can see that we have different tasks over here and we're interested in the tasks of our library. So we're going to expand this and inside we're going to see different tasks. So we want to publish our library. So we're going to open this and over here we can see publish to Maven local. Okay. Now, before we publish the library, I want to show you the exact location that the library will be published to. Okay. So it's basically some kind of folder that represents our local Maven repository. So on Windows, it will be inside users, the name of your user, and you're going to find this M2 folder, okay? So inside we have this repository and we're going to see the library over here. On Mac, you simply need to go to your finder, go to home, then you're going to find your user and inside you're going to find this M2 folder as well. Maybe you're not going to see it because this file is usually invisible. So you need to press control shift and dot, and then it's going to show all the invisible folders. And then you can find this M2 folder as well. Now we're going to go back into our project and we're going to press on this task. And we can see that this task was successful. So now if we go to our M2 folder, we can see this com and we can see that our library was created. Okay, we can find our jar and then both of the jars for the Java doc and for the sources. So our library was successfully published. Now we want to be able to consume this library from a different project. So we're going to create a different project. And obviously we cannot reference this library because it doesn't even exist in our project. So if we try to find user builder, it's not going to find it. So the way we consume libraries that are published to the local Maven repository, we simply need to go into the scripts. We need to go to settings Gradle and we need to add another repository over here. So it's going to be the Maven local repository. And then we also want to go to our apps Gradle and add the dependency for the actual library. Okay. So we are going back into the library and we're going to take all of this with us. Okay. So we're going to create the name of the library. So it's going to be this and then this and then this. And we're going to copy all of this. And over here, we're going to say implementation. And we're going to sync the Gradle. So now it's going to look for this address inside the local repository. So if we want to be sure that this library is actually consumed and it's also relevant for any other library, then we can go over here, change the view to project, and we can see these external libraries. So we need to search for this library over here. So we can see 
com and this is our library. So we can know that this project is actually consuming this library. So now we can go back to Android and inside the main activity, we can import the class right now. So now we can use it. and it recognizes all the classes. Okay, so we can see that everything is working. So this is the way to create and publish a library. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you're still not subscribed for more content and goodbye.